A mother says being at the wrong place at the wrong time has upended her life in ways she never expected. She says she was falsely accused of murder after visiting a mall in Rolling Hills Estates the same day a retired nurse was found stabbed to death there. NBC4's iTeam has some new information on the murder of Susan Leeds, and for the first time, you'll hear from the woman who is publicly accused of being the killer. Our investigative reporter, Eric Leonard, is here now with more. Well, Chuck and Colleen, Sherry Townsend says she's been trying to focus on being a mom to her college-age son and teenage daughter, but says the very public accusation that she was a killer hangs over everything she does every day. Now she says she wants her story heard because she wants to clear her name. Sherry, do you want to say anything? This is the last time Cherie Townsend was shown on TV when she was released from jail in Linwood in May. And this is Cherie now. We are talking because I was arrested for a murder I didn't commit. It was May 3rd when the body of retired nurse Susan Leeds was found in the driver's seat of her SUV inside the parking structure at the promenade on the Peninsula Shopping Center. Leeds' throat had been slashed, she'd been stabbed a dozen times, and things had been stolen. We believe that the motivation for this crime was robbery and that Mrs. Leeds was randomly chosen. The next day, detectives arrested this man, a transient, but quickly released him. We good? Then Sheriff Jim McDonnell, standing alongside members of Susan Leeds' family and the mayor of Rolling Hills Estates, right, announced another arrest, Cherie. Morning. She was arrested and will be charged with murder and has a million dollar bail. It's about every police officer there had a gun drawn on me like I was a monster. Townsend says she was at the mall that day, shopping after dropping her daughter off at a friend's house in nearby Lomita, but knew nothing about the murder and didn't see anything unusual. She drove out of the structure. Her car was recorded by a security camera, but Townsend says she didn't realize she'd left something behind. At some point, I dropped my phone. My phone was found in the parking lot. Townsend says it's the only thing that connects her with the murder case, and it's how detectives tracked her down days later in the Inland Empire. They have to blame somebody. They told me I didn't have any business over there or I didn't look the part. Townsend was booked, her car seized. Investigators even searched the home of a friend she'd been visiting. She sat in jail for four days and then prosecutors reviewed the evidence and decided no murder charge could be filed. Cherie was released. It was a relief, but a nightmare. Months have now passed. She says if there was evidence that connected her with the crime, she knows she'd have been charged. I already knew. I'm innocent. Townsend says her daily routine of being immersed in her kids' school and athletic lives ended with the arrest and accusation. She says she's been afraid to be out in public and can panic when she sees a police car. It's not guilty anxiety, it's fear. Fear that I'm going to be unjustly taken from my children. She says she used to work for L.A. County Probation and planned to return to work full-time once her kids were in college. I still have this dark cloud over my head because... From the moment I was released, I still went on TV and said, we believe we have the right person. That's damaging to me, to my family. Now, the Sheriff's Department detectives on this case declined our invitation to be interviewed. The department would not say if it still considers Townsend a suspect today, but it doesn't mention her in a new written statement. Now, in that statement, the department says the case has proven to be very complex, an active investigation, and says with the lack of eyewitnesses, the physical and forensic evidence that was collected is being continually re-evaluated. Eric, what about the victim's family? What do they say in all of this? Well, we talked to one of Susan Leeds' stepsons today. He says the, the family is devastated. They miss Susan Leeds greatly, especially her husband. But they also say they have the full confidence in the detectives who are working this case, and they believe that at some point, after these detectives, in his words, are doing everything humanly possible, they'll find the solution to the case. All right. Eric.